Hi my ethical angels welcome back to be beautiful in this video i am going to be showing you how i created this simple everyday makeup tutorial for brown skin so if you're interested please keep on watching Hello welcome back and i am starting off with this concealer palette from Nykaa. This is the Nykaa Skin Genius Concealer Palette in the shade Medium and I am going to be using this orange corrector under my eyes, around my mouth, wherever there are dark spots on my face and also on my entire forehead. So I have some darkness right at the center of my forehead where there is a gap between my brows. I am also going to be using the corrector there and there is another spot on my neck and it's not what you're thinking i burnt myself with a straightener so that's what it is and i'm going to be using the corrector there as well and once that is done i am going to use from the same palette the yellow highlight and i'm going to use it under my eyes only i'm not going to be using it anywhere else a slight yellow tinge under the eyes helps really brighten up the under eyes. So let's move on to the next step which is the concealer and I'm going to be using the same palette and this shade right where I've circled on the palette. I'm going to be using that shade for concealing and I'm going to use it under the eyes right at the center of my forehead where I want to highlight. I'm going to take it slightly down halfway bridge of my nose around the corners of my mouth and I'm also going to use this for spot concealing on a few spots on the face and also on the neck where I got burnt. So that's all the places. I'm not going to be using it on the complete forehead because that is something that the foundation will cover. And by the way, if you're new, my name is Archana and I help you ease into the cruelty-free beauty world one step at a time. So all the products that you see in this tutorial are going to be 100% cruelty-free and all the products and brands that I use on my channel are always 100% cruelty-free. And that brings us to the foundation and I'm going to be using the Sugar Drop the Base Serum Foundation today. This is in the shade number 42 Glaze. And I'm going to be dropping it on my face and on my dress. I always drop this on my dress. So my suggestion is if you are doing the same thing, wear something else, finish your makeup and then wear whatever you're going to wear. I'm going to blend this foundation really well into the skin using a damp beauty blender sponge. And I'm going to blend, blend, blend with a damp beauty blender sponge. I'm going to make sure that I press the foundation into my skin and I'm going to make sure that the foundation looks as much a part of the skin as possible. And then using the corner of the sponge, I'm also going to blend in the concealer really, really well so that everything blends in together. The foundation, the concealer, the corrector, everything blends in well and it looks like it's a part of my skin. And whatever is left on the sponge, I'm just going to put it very, very lightly on my eyelids. I'm not going to take more product and put it on my eyelids because that sometimes gets really weird. So I'm just going to use whatever is there on the sponge and I'm just going to take it on to my lids. And I'm also dropping the foundation onto my neck. And I'm going to blend that really well. And sometimes when I'm wearing sleeveless dresses like this i also like to put the foundation on my shoulders or whatever area is visible so that even my arms look like they are mine and not someone else's so i just like to lightly go over my shoulders because i do have some tan lines like beyond the sleeve so i just like to blend it in till wherever the tan lines are not there and of course, don't forget the ears. Ears are a part of your face as well. So go on to the ears with whatever is there on the sponge. And then I'm using this loose banana powder from Benai. And I'm going to be using a powder brush. And I'm really going to powder my face well. I sweat a lot. I 
get oily so i really like to ensure that i powder my face really well and set my makeup really well you can always take down the powderiness at the end of it by just spritzing some makeup setting spray but make sure that if you're oily if you tend to sweat make sure you powder your face well and also don't forget to powder your eyelids your ears your neck and also the arms or shoulders or till wherever you've put the foundation and for under the eyes, I like to use a smaller brush which can actually go till the inner corner of the eyes and you can actually get the powder to set your concealer really, really well. And then I'm using this blush shade from Contour the Force Face Palette from Sugar Cosmetics and I'm just going to give some nice color to my cheeks. I'm not going to go overboard because this is kind of a simple everyday makeup look. But a little color on the cheeks always makes a lot of difference. And then I'm using this medium to tan contour kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And using this contour shade which is right inside the circle, I'm going to contour my cheekbones. And I'm going to make sure that the blush and the contour gel really well together and they don't look like they are placed in two separate areas. So make sure that everything blends really well. And then I'm also going to take the contour on the perimeters of my face, like right near my hairline and under my jaw. And then whatever is left on the brush, I'm just going to brush it on the sides of my nose and under the nose. I generally don't contour my nose, but just whatever is left on the brush, I just like to brush it on the sides of my nose. And then using the highlighter from the contour palette itself, I'm going to highlight the high points of my cheeks the brow bones which is right under the brow and i'm going to go down halfway on the bridge of my nose and lightly on the cupid's bow nothing major nothing out of the world because this is a simple look just keep it simple but a little bit of highlighter is always it looks good so i'm just going to go ahead with a little bit of everything today for my brows today, I'm using this brow pencil from Sugar Cosmetics in Woody Scooby. I'm just going to fill in my brows. I'm not going to change their shape or I'm not going to shape them. I'm just going to fill in the gaps, but I'm going to make sure that all the gaps are filled in really, really well. And then I'm just going to make sure that all the brow hair in place once it's filled in using the spoolie given at the other end of the brow pencil. Now for eyelids today, I'm going to be using the contour palette itself. So I'm going to be using this deep brown shade from the contour palette and I'm just going to apply this all over the eyelid. I'm going to take it into the crease as well and the outer corner. So I'm just going to cover the entire lid with this shade. And you can see the difference after applying the shade and when the shade is not applied on the other eye. So it gives a really nice depth to the eyes when you apply a slightly darker shade onto your eyelids. And again, using the highlighter shade from the contour palette itself, I'm just gonna very lightly apply this right on the center of the eyelids. And this is going to create a slight shimmer right on the center of your eyelid, which is going to give you a very, very beautiful effect. So it may not be really visible on the camera, but when you are looking at yourself in the mirror or if somebody else is looking at you then it's definitely going to look really really pretty and then using the same deep brown shade i'm going to define the lower lash line i'm going to use a flat eyeshadow brush for this purpose it's a very thin small eyeshadow brush you can also use a pencil brush to define the lower lash line and then I'm going to be using this Worth the Hype Mascara from NYX and I'm going to coat my upper and lower lashes really well. I'm not going to be using any falsies today because this is a simple everyday makeup tutorial and there are no falsies involved in a simple everyday makeup tutorial for me at least. So I'm just going to be using the mascara on my upper and lower lashes really well to define the lashes. For lips today, I'm going to be using this lip pencil in natural from pack cosmetics i'm going to line my lips and also fill them in with this lip pencil first and then moving on for lipstick today i'm using this smudge me not lipstick in tan fan and i'm going to be applying this all over my lips as well and since the smudge me not lipstick 
gets my lips really really dry i'm just going to be applying a little bit of biotic lip balm on top of the lipstick just very little bit not too much i'm just going to tap it on my lips and hydrate them a bit so that's it for this simple everyday makeup tutorial for brown skin and there are no complicated steps involved it's very easy there is no eyeliner there is no kajal there is no upper and lower waterline issues nothing as such very very simple steps i hope you really enjoyed this look do give a thumbs up if you did and please don't forget to subscribe hit that like button share this video with your friends and family and all that good stuff and i will see you again in the next one very very soon till then take care bye bye